Hi there, thanks for joining me today. My name is Tanya from Tat and Taz Creates. I'm sharing with you my process of how I created this picture using pan pastels. Let's get started. Today I'm using a coloured pastel paper with a selection of pan pastels. Now the colours I'm using do not match exactly the reference photo that I am using. I only own about 12 colours of the pastels and 9 of which I'm using today. I am a great believer in making do with what you have. And whilst the blue of the sky isn't quite the blue that I would have wanted to go for, the yellows and the oranges uh, certainly offset that because I think they're fabulous. Certainly one of the great things about these pan pastels is that they blend very well together and make uh, other colours. So tell me, do you have pan pastels? What do you think? Do you have a good selection or do you make do with what you have? Do you find that you can make loads of colours or do you struggle? You can let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. Somewhere else I'm making do with is with the sponges. Uh, I'm actually using makeup sponges that I got uh, in the chemist. These sponges are absolutely fantastic for laying down the big blocks of colour as you can see here. And now I'm going in with the soft tools which are specifically designed to use with the pan pastels to do the um, smaller detail. Now if you want to look up these soft tools they are spelt S O double F T. As you can see, they are like a, a palette knife with an angle on them, and it's very like uh, using a paintbrush. And if you look even closer, you will notice that the little sponges at the end um, are actually different shapes and that's because the little plastic parts uh, are actually different shapes as well and you can get um, replacement uh, sponges for them. I think throughout this project I use the triangle shaped one, the slightly rounded shaped one and uh, a more squarer shaped uh, one later on. Now a tip that I would like to give you that I wish I had known when I had bought the soft tools and that is make sure you have lots of replacement sponge heads. I have noticed that they do tend to get damaged easily, particularly with uh, rough paper. As a matter of interest, this scene is from the coastline of Fife, very close to where they did the filming for the TV series Outlander. And my reference photograph was taken at sunset. I have to say I do consider myself to be very lucky that I live in Scotland. It is so beautiful and there are so many different beautiful places to be found. Who knows where I will draw my inspiration from next. And 
And as I begin to add the final touches to this project, I would like to just thank uh, those of you who have watched to the end. Thank you very much for watching. And if you would like to and haven't already done so, why don't you click that subscribe button? It doesn't cost anything and if you click the bell you can get notification of my latest video as and when it is available to you. If you enjoyed this video then please help to support my channel and help me to grow by clicking the thumbs up and sharing uh, with your friends this video. And lastly, but certainly not least, why don't you pop a hello in the comments? If you have any questions, just ask. I would really love to hear from you. So that's it from me. Take care. Have a very creative day. Thank you. See you all in the next video. Bye for now.